Backlinking your nodes together, or networked note taking, is a powerful way to take notes. Just by logging your day and backlinking all people, places, things, and projects, you form a map of ideas over time. In the screen share, you can't see the lines connecting each node, but you can get an idea of how this forms a second brain over time. The more things you backlink together, the more associations you form, just like your brain. In general, you should backlink all people, places, things, and projects. If you do this over time, using a networked note-taking system like Reflect, all of your notes will become backlinked together. You can use that to keep an ongoing log of your day and your to-do list items, and over time, you'll have a second brain formed quite naturally. All right, so let me run through an example of how to do this and what it looks like. To start off with, I think the easiest way to do this sort of backlinking format is to just create an ongoing daily log. And there you can just list everything that's happening in your day. So I am going to create a backlink for that, for this daily log. And if we click on that note, you can see all of the dates below that I have backlinks to this daily log, which is not very many because this is my demo brain. I just use it for videos. But if I was doing this every day, you would see an ongoing running list. So going back here, we can just start recording what happens in our day, remembering to backlink anything we can think of. So maybe first I woke up and did my, and I'll say morning routine, and I will backlink that. And inside that note, I could just write what my morning routine is. So maybe I meditate, maybe I spend some time reading or writing, even just making the bed. I can list what I want my morning routine to be in there, which is actually quite helpful if you're starting a new routine to remember it. And you can also go back in time and see how, what you changed. All right. So then let's say I went for breakfast uh, with my fiance. So I'm going to backlink her name. And we'll say we went to Ozo Coffee, which is our favorite coffee shop. And again, if I see this person's name, I can go in, put any information about that person. Same thing with the coffee shop. I could go in here and list the location. I could list my favorite thing to order there. Anything that I wanted to remember. But the important thing is that you create the back break so that you know that on this day, this was part of your daily log and you went there. And let's do one more and say it's more of a meeting. So let's say we did the weekly stand up. And again, if I wanted to, I could go in here, I could click on the note and, uh, you know, maybe I want to give it a meeting tag. I could write down uh, the people that are a part of this group. I could write down any goals or OKRs that we have as a team that we're trying to meet. And then I can just go back into this page and any notes that happen, I can write them down here. So I can say, discussed upcoming content plan, reviewed Q3 growth goals. And I could even still backlink things in here. So uh, if I wasn't just doing this in my fake brain, I'd probably have a note for the content. And so I could just backlink. That. And same thing with my Q3 goals. I could backlink that. And if I have a couple different projects, maybe I want to go in here and make sure that I give it a reflect tag so that I know it's part of reflect. So you can see how if you keep doing this over time, you're slowly going to build up this network of notes that are all linked together. That's what we mean by network note taking. And again, over time, you'll form enough that you get a map of ideas. So here, this one's a little smaller for my demo brain but you can see how everything here is linked together. And if I backlink these areas, it would just form a new connection.